Hey everybody, happy Sunday. We are about to kick off our all day phone jam here at Vector HQ in Hudson Valley. And my thought that I wanted to share today is not just about life, but even specifically about making phone calls. And the thought is this, life is more so about the music than it is about the lyrics. Okay, you, if you're making phone calls trying to sell a product or if you're trying to set up appointments for your company, it's less about having the perfect approach and having the flashy words and exactly what you need to say. It's more so about your enthusiasm, your aura, your vibes, how are you making the perfect person on the other end feel. Now, the only reason I think I'm qualified to talk about this is I've been a communication specialist for about a decade. Now, I studied for four years at SUNY Oswego and I got degrees in communication and social interaction, philosophy, psychology, deviance, public speaking, nonverbal communication, all those different things. And I can still admit and take accountability that I've accidentally hurt people with words. I've argued, I've misunderstood uh, sentences and thoughts people have shared with me. And at times I might've even used communication as a weapon and not a tool on Unfortunately. Now, what I've learned throughout my years of studying communication is that people don't care how much you know if they don't know how much you care. And number two is it doesn't necessarily matter what you say, but more so how you make people feel. So if you're doing a sales demonstration, can you make people feel lifted, elevated, good vibrations from you, even if you're messing up the whole thing? If you're a parent or a leader of an organization, even if you don't have everything perfect, it doesn't matter if people like your vibes, if they can pick up what you're putting down. So don't look so deeply into everything, okay? You could have more degrees than Fahrenheit in a certain topic, but even if you're so intellectual at it, you can't communicate it to people properly, they think you're a jerk, it doesn't matter. So think about how you're making people feel today. That's why I love Spanish music. I don't care if I know the words. To me, Spanish music is a painting and rap is an essay. Sometimes I love reading an essay. Ozuna is a vacation and Nas is the grind. So if you're a leader, you don't need to be perfect. Life is about being authentic. Life is more about the music, not about the lyrics.